All in. I'm in. I'll pass. Full house. Four of a kind. Guess I'm done. Sergi, wait. I don't get it. Why did you order the pizza for us? Look how delicious the shrimp are. I'd love to, but my... Allergies don't allow it. Mm. Hmm. Can you ask security? See if maybe it's already arrived? Don't worry. They know what to do. Hmm. Shall we continue? Mm-hmm. Well, did the pizza come? No. Did you order pizza and not tell me? No. That's a new guy who plays cards with the boss. Did you order a pizza? Mm-hmm. Somebody pay me? You took a long time. You ain't getting squat. <sighs> Too bad. I guess today is not your day. At all. Do you know that I never lose a hand? There's a first time for everything. Besides, you won't need the money for the next 10 years. Why is that? Because you'll be in prison. You a cop? Mm -hmm. That's too bad. Do you even know who you're messing with, kid? Everybody on the floor! Police! Get on the floor! Hands where I can see him! Right now! I'm sure. You're Alexi. A raider, an extortionist, and possibly a murderer. Take him away, guys. You're in big trouble. Let's go. Come on. Saw the way he looked at you? Mm-hmm. He's got some connections. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, my parents were businessmen in the 90s. They had so many of these friends coming at them. <laughs> That's why I decided to become a cop. So, Elijah, where's my pizza? Oh, uh, yes. Here. Tyson. Well, aren't you afraid? No. Cut it. <laughs> I mean about your police men. It's not a quiet time right now. You know what the department calls him? What do they call him? Ivan the Armor. So no, I'm not afraid. Ivan the Armor. So you think he'll propose? How long have you been dating? Two months? Well, I know he's serious. He's made that very clear to me. What about you? I am too. <laughs> Lucky you, Janie. Well, you know, it's not like I'm from a dumpster either. So it's not clear who the lucky one is.
police. Oh, hi. Hi. Well, aren't you a handsome man? Well done. <laughs> so the hero slept well. <sighs> Knock it off, man. Oh, come on. I'm not the one who handcuffed Gorobets yesterday. <laughs> we did it together. I just helped. Right. He saved my life. <laughs> Imagine that. Zemarev's been asking for you. Got it. Come on in. Paul, hello. Did come you in, call for me? Ivan. You've done a great job. Congratulations. Thank you. But I'd like to point out, we arrested Gorobets together with Junior Lieutenant Karelin. That's what I'm talking about. Well done, but I need some specifics, Ivan. Uh, Gorobets, uh, looking for his victims, and he personally probed them. Then he handed them to the owner. And who were the owners? We don't know yet. That's the problem. We ask for a few more days. Well, maybe a couple more. Ivan, look. My bosses are pressuring me. I understand, of course. And now, the main thing. I've gotten intelligence reports about wanting to put our... Falcon in a cage. What do you mean? I mean your wedding. Oh, Bereave reported it. That's a very, very interesting perspective. You're here. Elijah, you captured Gorobets together, didn't you? Yet only Ivan the Armor is sitting in Zemarev's office. Piss off. Oh, come on. Why are you upset, trainee? Don't worry. I'm all for justice. About the prospects. <laughs> oh. oh. L, let's go get something to eat. Here. Here are your burgers. Thank you, miss. She seems to like you. I like her too. But it doesn't matter since I'm married, remember? By the way. Here. Wow. How much did you pay? <laughs> All I had. Mm. It's beautiful. Yeah. Jane is worth it. Listen. You'll find someone for yourself one day, too. Look at you. You're young, promising. Don't be so hard on yourself. You'll find a woman. Life will completely change. Mm. Tell me, when will we interrogate Gorobets? Tomorrow. The bastard thinks I've got nothing on him, but he doesn't know about all the evidence I've gathered. What evidence? Yeah, anyway, I found something. I have a friend. Thank you. Mm, sorry, it's Jane. Hey, Janie. Are you still at work? No, I'm on my way out, actually. Uh, well, I have a short meeting here, then I'll head straight to you, okay? Uh, that's fine. Love you. I love you, too. That's it. Come on. Hey, buddy. How are you? What is this, Tyson? Tyson, I'm asking you a question. What the hell is that? Why did you eat the meat? I have to make dinner. Now what will I cook? Oh, don't I feed you enough? Why are you looking at me? 
You dog. Sit in the corner. Hello, miss. I'd like to make an order. On my way here, yeah? my girlfriend Ayla calls me to remind me I promised to take her to the airport. Uh -huh. And I forgot all about it. Now she's probably cursing me along with you. Good thing I'm not superstitious. Go on. <laughs> Hello, Tyson. He's grounded. What for? Can you believe he ate the meat I wanted to make for dinner? That's why mm. I had to order sushi. Didn't I tell you already? I'm a pescetarian now. What's that? I only eat fish now. I don't eat meat at all, so sushi is actually perfect. Well, cool. You shouldn't do that to him. He's a good boy. Hmm. And out of control. What are you looking at? <laughs> Just like his master. <laughs> Actually, I know why he's acting like that. I hardly ever take him anywhere with me. You can't take him to work with you? Uh, I even got him training for that, but the bosses <laughs> are against it. I'll just be a second. Where are you going? Just a sec. <laughs> Jane, have you thought about what's next? What do you mean? Mm, about the future. You know, I still remember the day we met clearly. <laughs> I looked into your eyes and realized you were the only one for me. <laughs> do you remember that day? Of course I do. <sighs> I don't think meetings like that are accidents. I love you. Will you marry me? Ivan. You, are you serious? I am. Yes, of course I'll marry you. <laughs> Will you put it on? It's so beautiful. It's just a ring. You're beautiful. Oh, come here.
Yes? <laughs> Hi, I'm your neighbor. Oh, yes, we were in the elevator this morning. I remember. <laughs> That's right. And where is Nina? Where'd she go? So they moved and want to sell the apartment. They're renting it out for now. <laughs> uh, is it a bit noisy? Mm. Are we disturbing your sleep? I'll ask them to turn it down. No, make it louder. I work for the police anyway. <laughs> uh, wanna come in? We're having fun. My name is Ace. Elijah, how do you do? No thanks. I have to get up early tomorrow. <laughs> what a shame. Elijah! You're great. Uh. Nice meeting you. Ivan. Good morning. I think it's time for someone to go outside. Tyson, go to the living room. To the living room. <laughs> He's not leaving. <gasps> We're gonna have to mix business with pleasure. Want some croissants? Only if you're not gone long. Ten minutes. Will you be bored? Yes, my captain. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. Tyson, let's go. Mom, look what a pretty doggy that is. Can I pet it? No, let's go, Eva. You can pet him, he won't bite. <laughs> Come. Let's see. Come on. Come here. Sit. Sit. Good boy. If you're a good boy, you'll get a bone. You're a good boy, right? Yeah, you're always a good boy. Okay, come on. Let's go. Come here. Hey.
I still clearly remember the day when he came to me for an internship. It was a day like today. He came into my office, threw his documents on the table, and then he told me that I didn't have to read them because he was going to be transferred to the center. I told him, you can be with us for a month, then I'll give you a recommendation. That one month turned into 10 years. May God bless you, Ivan. I'm sorry you're no longer with us. How are you, Nadia? Uh, you know, Al. <sighs> Ivan always... He always told me that this could happen, but I always just laughed. And now, do you know who did it? We'll find them. That still won't bring him back. You in town for long? Till Tuesday, until I've sorted out all the arrangements. Why don't you stay? I... I don't know what to do about Ivan's dog. Maybe you could look after him just until I can find some new owners for him. Sure. You don't want to take him? I can't. No. Ruslan is allergic to animals. Is Ruslan your boyfriend? Are you too serious? Have you ever thought about how things would have turned out if you'd come with me? Things could have been different. But it is what it is. Not now, Al. We lost a fellow soldier, but a friend and a, a comrade, a good comrade. He was the kind of man who was always ready to come to the aid of anyone who needed it. There are a few of those left. Farewell, my good friend. May you rest in peace. Zamorav. Give me Ivan's case. Take over the Gorbat's case, then. Trust me, it's the best thing you can do for him. When Jane was leaving, I'm pretty sure I saw an engagement ring on her finger. Did I even propose to her? Yeah, just before. So, how is she? Uh, you know I'm good at sensing people. So yeah, she's definitely doing fine. And you? I'm fine. And I also really want to thank you for taking care of Tyson. As soon as things are settled, I'll be sure to put him somewhere. <sighs> I have something else I need to ask you, El. Just, um... Here's the second set of keys to the apartment. Could you come by once a week to water the flowers, please? Oh, yeah. I'm putting the apartment up for sale, and it's going to take me some time. <sighs> Are you sure? Of what? The sale.
Elijah. <laughs> Sorry. You drive, right? Yes, but I haven't driven in a while. Here you go. Take it. No, I can't. Ivan was very fond of his car. But then it'll just rust in the yard, and so... <clears throat> you know... Well, oh well. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. I don't drive and I don't want to. You'll take care of it and it'll be easier to take care of Tyson. Here you go. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> Sorry, El. I want to be alone and get my thoughts together. Understand. Okay. <sighs> Say, uh, is Tyson's stuff going to? to drag you by force or what? How are we going to get home, man? I'm begging you. Come here. It's time to go home. Dime. That's the way it should be. Tyson, come here. Come here, my boy. Hey, come here, come here. It's all because of you, by the way. All right. Let's go. Don't just stand there. If you don't want to come in now, I'm gonna have to leave you here. Do you hear? You stay out here? Hmm? Out here then. Okay. <sighs> what? <laughs> Don't you start. The couch is for people. That was my dumpling. What, you like dumplings? <sighs> okay, let's go. <sighs> what now? 
Just foot over there. The couch is for people only. Have a good night. There's food here. What are you? How many classes do you have today? Five. You'll be free by one? Mm-hmm. You and Miss Olga decided everything? Yes. Incoming call. Rhymer. Hello, Marina. Good morning, Pete. Maxime, what do you want to say to Uncle Peter? Good morning. Good morning, Max. Marina, are we still on for dinner tonight? Uh, yes, of course. Should I come straight to your place? That's all right. I'll come over. Don't worry. What time? Uh, let's say about 8 o'clock. I've got a deadline today. It's a deal. Love you. Love you too. I love you too. <laughs> I'm Maxime. You want my opinion? You'd better drop this at once. And run away quickly. Don't embarrass yourself. If Korochenko couldn't handle it, then how are you going to? Have you solved at least one murder in your life? Where did you work before? Batteriv is in charge now. Go back to him, he'll welcome you with open arms. Listen, now, objectively speaking, Stas is right. Hmm? You don't have much chance here. But maybe you'll be a hero there. How many cases did you solve last year? Four? Five? I don't remember. I don't remember Zemerev giving you prizes for solving them. Watch your mouth. It's all right. I'll study the cases. And I'll solve them. Aren't you ashamed? Tell me. Aren't you ashamed of what you've done here? This is this lady's favorite chair. She won't forgive me for this. Curry Lynn! Mrs. Anna, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? This is my apartment. What kind of mess is this? Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Anna, it was all Tyson. It was Tyson? I can see it's a dog. Anna, yes. Don't get so upset. I'll take care of it. 
We'll have to buy all new furniture here now! I'll buy them. And you pay for the dishes! And the dishes. Come here, dog. Oh, oh my god! You must. Don't worry, he doesn't bite. He doesn't bite? <laughs> I know he bites. The neighbors have one just like this one. He gave Fedoma a heart attack. Well, excuse us. All right, Cody Lynn. I will give you two days. I want you to move out the day after tomorrow. Anna, where to? I really don't care. <laughs> Shut up, dog! This is Anna. Ah, I want him gone. He better be gone tomorrow. And you're covering all the expenses for repairs. All right. What do we do now? Jen, just for three days. Well, until I find a new apartment. Well, let's make it two. Well, can you do it for at least one? I called several ads on the internet. I called him too. All right, I got it. Okay. Tyson. Come on out. Come on. Come on out. I said get out here. We're here. Come on. Come here. What's wrong with such a handsome man? Poor thing. <sighs> he doesn't listen to me. Have you ever had a dog before? Once. My grandpa's. Juja. Hmm. Did you know that dogs are good empaths? They are very good at sensing human moods. Especially when we feel like we're not trusted, you know? He doesn't trust me at all. You should be with him as an equal. As a friend, have you tried it? It'll definitely work out. Look, I don't have any time. I have certain circumstances. We can take him in, but he won't be happy here. I'm sure of it. Why? He's not the first dog to be betrayed. Look how many there are. I'll go get the paperwork and you say goodbye. Hey there, come. Goodbye how? Look him in the eyes. Take his paw. And look him in the eyes and tell him that you will never come for him again. That he shouldn't wait for you anymore. Let's go. Let's go. Good boy. <laughs>
Maxime, so today's my first day at the new department, so I won't be able to pick you up in time. Is Grandma coming? No, Uncle Pete will come pick you up. Mom, I don't want him to pick me up. Maxime, I think that you're old enough to understand these kinds of things. Understand what things? Uncle Pete and I love each other. That's not true. What's well, not true? It's not true that you love each other. It's not true. Maxime. He's not like my daddy. Max, you know daddy's gone. There's no one like daddy, and there will never be. Maxime. Never! Hello? Nadia. It's me. Yes, yeah, so... I'll... Listen, I'm sorry to ask you this. It's just... The thing is that the landlady of the apartment I rent, she hates dogs. I... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you under so much pressure. Turns out it's not so easy to rent an apartment in our town with a dog. Especially on my budget. Sorry. Can I stay at Ivan's apartment? Just for a few days. Of course, I was the one who suggested it to you. As soon as I find an apartment, we'll move out right away. Thank you. Elijah, take your time. Live there as long as you need. Thank you. <sighs> Let's go. Sorry, I take you with me, but our boss is mean, like, you know. Hey, Zamarev. Hello, Elijah. Yeah, hello. Why did you leave the dog in the car? At least open a window, or else he'll suffocate. Haven't you ever heard of this happening? Well, you're, you're not allowed to have a dog in the ward. Isn't that the dog that Ivan has been telling me all about? He is, Tyson. He's very brave and obedient. Maybe in memory of Ivan, we can take him into service. We could try. Are you serious? Well, yes. Why not try it? Ah, now it's up to you and him, of course. Thank you. Well, come out. Come out. Go, go, go. Go, go. Oh. Now for the main thing. We have a new employee assigned to us, an operative with a lot of experience, so she... She? That's right, she worked in homicide for a few years, so she'll take Ivan's place. And she's gonna take you under her wing from here on out. Are we gonna work together? Hmm, you are. Let's go. Police. There she is. Sorry I'm late, there was a traffic jam. Good morning, Miss Marina. You can just call me Marina. Hmm, as you wish. Major Filipenko. Just L. And this is Tyson. Tyson. Police. This dog belonged to the deceased Captain Korochenkov, an experienced specialist. Okay. I just need a list of all the unsolved cases that Korochenko had. There are a lot of them. I haven't had time yet. I didn't ask whether there are a lot or not. I just need a list. I see. Hello, sir. How are we doing today? Hello, miss. My name is Marina Alexandrovna Filipenko. Hello, everyone. Paul has allowed Tyson to serve with me. 
everything is clear with Tyson. But are you Carolyn's new... new partner then? Senior. Oh, who said that? Management. This here is your desk. Get your feet off the desk. But well, you're not my boss, you're... In this case, I'm the woman whom you were indecently sprawled out in the chair in front of. I'll be back when you've cleaned off the table. There's a nice place nearby. We can sit there, talk things over, so to speak, in honor of the first day of work. It'll be my treat. Listen, I wasn't transferred here to go sit and have coffee in cute little cafes. Understand. I was transferred here to investigate the murder of Captain Korchenko and increase the detection rate. Uh, yes. So I'm going to ask you to respect the professional chain of command. Agreed? Agreed. So by tomorrow, I'll need a report on all unsolved cases. And on the progress of the investigation of Captain Korchenko's murder. Got it. Tough, isn't she? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Buckle up. Good evening. Did you make a reservation? Yes, by the window. Come with me. I was also transferred to a new one today. Hmm. Which one? The 17th, on the outskirts. No way. Don't they have enough employees there already? They had an operative killed and I was transferred to take his place. Hmm. And tell me, what was that for? Lykov punished me for amateurism. <laughs> How long? He says it's temporary. But I do know him. Never mind that. Listen, Marina, by the way, they've got some new desserts. How do you feel about that? Mm. I'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> but if it affects my figure, you'll fall out of love with me. <laughs> no, there's no way. I'll go as far as possible. I'll take you there. Peter, I've been waiting for an hour and a half. Do you have better things to do? I'm sorry. Go ahead, tell me. Well, they start tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. from Metalursky. They'll take the county line. How many people? Three. Guessing arm is standard? Yes. Hmm. And? Half a million. <laughs> So, go with the scheme then, and be careful, got it? Understood. Come on. I do without you. Yes, tell me about it. Do you like him? Peter? Yeah, I do. Marina, I don't hear any confidence in your voice. I remember how you were crazy about Alex. Mm. 
Mom, Alex has been gone for four years. And Maxime needs a father. Hmm. And so do you really think that he can take on such a big role? Well, perhaps. Marie, do you remember what your father always told you? I do. I remember, Mom. He told you to always listen to your heart. I'll take it from here. Here's our cabin. Turn on the red light and don't change it again. Got it. What are you stopping for? Turn on the siren and go. Okay, let's go. Well, it looks like we're moving. Come on, we can work. Hold on, Peter. The wind's blowing everything away. Plan B, attention plan B. Get out of here. Police. There's a little trick here. Tyson, sit. Allow me. All right. There you go. Good morning. Thank you. Welcome. Hi, Tyson. How you doing, buddy? Hi. <laughs> You're never that happy to see me. <laughs> Did you make that list I asked for? Yes, of course. Here you go. And how's the, uh, Korachenko murder case coming along? It's in progress. Be more specific. In the process of interrogating Gorobets. Who is he? We caught him two days before, Ivan's death. We were able to prove his involvement in 
several of the recent raids. Ivan was sure he'd lead us to the big fish, but he's been quiet so far. That is for now. I want to question him myself. It's no use. He's a tough guy. Well, I can be tough too. Marie, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Paul. But I'd feel more comfortable if you would just call me Marina. Yes, of course. Marina, please come to my office. Of course. And you too. Let's go. Stay here. An hour and a half ago, the money collectors were robbed. The same crew? Mm, the handwriting is the same. Do we know where the car was headed? To the depot on Engels. What bank? Equator. Do you know it? Yes, I do. So if I understand correctly, there have been two such robberies in the last month. Mm, yes, absolutely correct. In all cases, grenade launchers were used, so it looks like the same guys were operating. Well, do you have any leads? Unfortunately, not yet. They work very clean and leave no traces. Did the cameras capture anything? No, nothing. They work where there's no video surveillance. That's clever. All right, guys, let's get to work. I see. Wait a second. Listen, Elijah. Marina has a great deal of disclosure. Listen to everything she says and learn. <sighs> Come on, Paul. No, Elijah, no. We're very fortunate that she's now working in our department. So please, do everything to make her stay here. As comfortable as possible. Let's get to work. Whose car shall we take? We'll take both cars. Go, get in. Good afternoon. Major Filipenko. Hello. Which hospitals were the victims taken to? 17th. Do we know how much money was stolen? $482,000. American. Hmm. There are no cameras here. How's the situation? It's under control. One of the enforcers managed to spot the suspect fleeing the scene on a motorcycle. And the other saw the copter. In what direction did you see them go? The northeastern direction. Oh. Does anyone remember the make or plate of the motorcycle? He says it's a sports bike, the kind for jumps. Is that the murder weapon? Yes. Let's take a look. Tyson. What have you found there? Not bad for a start. Kareelan, what's going on? Tyson? Not only is Tyson walking on evidence, so are you. I've already finished my work. You can walk over it. You're such a good boy. Let me take a picture. Hey, where are you going? To the hospital. Let me take a picture. Yeah, we're going to. Come on.
Come on. Come on. Excuse me. Are you out of your mind? Where are you going with the dog? This is a hospital. It's all right. We're the police. Listen up. Uh-huh. I'll do the talking. You stay here. Uh, here? What? Detective Officer Filipenko, Marina Alexandrovna. Are you one of the injured collectors? Mm. Where are the others? The others are in intensive care, unconscious. And who are you? Uh, I'm Arkady Zernov, and I'm the head of the bank branch from which most businesses hold their accounts. And, oh, that's good to know. So I won't have to call you separately, Mr. Arkady. You do understand that these types of crimes all happen by tip-off. So who in the bank knew? <sighs> who knew that the car would take this particular route? And exactly at this time? I don't have the slightest idea. It's the first time in my practice, I swear. But we are already doing a background check and... Mr. Arcady, so then you wouldn't mind if I asked you for a complete list of the department's employees for the last five years? What does she think she's doing? So what if it's the main office? Now everything's allowed or what? <laughs> what about you? It's all right. Don't worry. What is a dog It's doing okay. Here? It's a police dog. You can tell by his posture. <sighs> Look at this, huh? What do you think? Next time I'll have to take a cane and badges. You're a support dog now, my furry friend. Very well, Karilin. Now you're going to go with Mr. Arcady to the bank and take from him a complete list of employees for the past five years and the travel sheets of the collectors for the last year. Is that understood? You got all that? You got it? Hey, stop! Oh. Uh, uh, get the dog off me! I'll say anything! I'll talk! Get the dog off me! I'll talk! Uh, get the dog off stop. me! Stop! Tyson, stop! Uh, I'll say anything. to me on their own. How? Well, there was a call about a week ago from an anonymous number. He suggested that we meet. So we met and we talked about business things and... Do you remember his face? Tell me, can you help me make a sketch? Uh, are you sure? I mean, did you... that you didn't catch him? How in the world did you get his, his amulet then? We'll be asking the questions here. So what did he look like? Uh, probably not even 40 years old. Uh, a little shorter than me. Uh, and facial hair. Is that all? Yes, that's all. Where did you meet? Uh, in the wasteland, behind Zadnov Avenue. Uh, can you show me? Yes, of course. Sure, I sure can. How much did he offer you? Well, he offered me 25%. Uh, 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 am I going to jail? Well, right now you're going to tell us everything that happened when you got the call. You'll help us draw up a sketch of the suspect, 
Mm, and if your testimony is coherent, specific, and most importantly, honest, I promise you that we're going to take it into account for the future. Okay? Yes, all right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Police. Heal. Sit. Sit. Tyson, you're such a good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Let me give you a kiss. Well done, Elijah. Yeah? Did you just call me by my name? Well, it's well-deserved, partner. Get in. I wish she kissed me. You shook your paw. Hi. Hello, Al. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. I... <sighs> Did something happen? No, I mean, yes. Uh, uh... It doesn't matter. <sighs> Get up. Get up. Come here. Have a seat. I'm completely confused. What is it? Come on, tell me. You need to talk to someone. We had met around two years ago at one of my friend's birthday party. I was so in love, I lost my head and everything happened so fast. Like in a fairy tale. It seemed to me that there was something important between us. That we were meant for each other, you know? Sorry, it must be unpleasant for you to hear this. I. No, no. It's all right. Go on. We started talking about getting married. He brought it up himself. He even gave me a ring. And then. Then what? Then I found out everything. Of course I suspected. I was told. But you know, I... I just didn't want to. Didn't want to believe it. You know? No. Everything instantly collapsed. Cheated. <sighs> Did he tell you that? It was all very clear, Al. Everybody knew about it. Everyone except me. What? I, what can I say? He's a bastard. But I only have one question. 
Why is he doing this? What's wrong with me? Wasn't I not enough for him? <laughs> of course there was a fight and he said he loved me very much. That it wouldn't happen again. <sighs> I don't believe him anymore. So I took the bus and rode it all the way over here. May I stay with you? Of course you can. It's your apartment. Do you want me to move out? You can stay here as long as you need to. It's more fun, the two of us. <coughs> Sorry, Tyson, the three of us. <laughs> he doesn't understand in human terms. <laughs> Woof, woof. Woof. Let's go. Get out. Come on, come on. Where are you guys going? Don't tell me that Marina didn't tell you. About what? The drivers called Arkady Zernov to give him a share. So then Marina made him arrange a meeting. Why didn't anyone tell me? Why didn't you tell me anything? I didn't think we had a close relationship. Maybe we should switch to it. Look, Elijah. I understand that my presence in this department bothers you. And if you think that I actually want to work here, you're deeply mistaken. The only thing that I want is to solve the crime and get back to my department. So you have two options. Either you get on board and work according to my plan what? or we'll be saying goodbye to you. I'd like to remind you that we wouldn't have brought Zernov to light if it wasn't for Tyson. Here we go. What? I'm supposed to be on the case. I don't mind you taking the case, but as long as we're standing out here, none of us are doing anything. So it wouldn't hurt us if I got inside the van and did something. I have a feeling that no one's coming. Quiet! Stay calm. We'll see everything really soon. Tyson, get ready, boy. Did you state the location? I'm sure I did. Okay then, let's do this. Okay. here. <laughs> Greedy for money. Attention. Drone. Well, it looks clear. Just go ahead and do the math.
on my signal. Good afternoon, Arcady. <sighs> you don't look too well, Arcady. How do you feel? Well, uh, I'm all right. Good. Did the cops interrogate you? Well, they um, interrogated me. Mm -hmm. And what did you tell them? Oh, nothing. Uh, uh, well, uh, I mean, uh, nothing too bad. Uh, just like you told me to uh -huh. do. Yeah. Well. Good job, then. Uh, Here you go. Count it again. Now say your prayers. Let's get him. Let's go. Where are the others? Tyson, don't! Where are the others? I'm alone. Well done, Tyson. Take him away. I'm gonna get a dog like that, too. And I'm gonna call it Tyson when I get out of prison. Let's go, Arcady. Slowly, slowly. Lobanov's interrogation is tomorrow at nine, so be there. Yes. Marina, I was wrong this morning. If there's anything I can do... I have to go. The hell is going on? Are you kidding? Need a ride? I'm sorry, Max. My car broke down, and I had to ask a colleague for a lift. Hello. Hello. That's a nice car. Can I ride in it? Of course. Come on. Up in. Who is that? That's Tyson. Hello, Tyson. Don't be scared. He's kind. Okay, get in. Sit down. Listen, are you sure that was her? Positive. The banker leaked us to her. I told you we couldn't trust him. Fucking banker. What are we gonna do with her? With her? You're the one who blew it. And your people! <sighs> Listen. Don't you dare touch her. Don't even think about it. Is your Lobanov gonna crack? No, he won't. He knows what will happen to him if he talks. Yeah. And the same goes for you. Don't call me. I'll call you myself after this is done. Thank you so much for the ride. Uncle Elijah. Can I go for a walk with Tyson sometime? Of course you can. 
you like him, take him to your place. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Goodbye, Tyson. Tomorrow at nine? <laughs> Let's switch the relationship. Yeah, I agree. Goodbye, then. Let's go. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Well, how did you sleep, Lobanov? I'm a unpretentious man. I don't care whether I sleep in a suit or a bunk. Although a suit is always better. Well, you know the reason why we're here, so I'd advise you not to drag it out. Tell us about the people you were with when you robbed the collectors. Um... What makes you think I robbed anybody at all? We found money in your possession, and the bill numbers match those of the stolen money. <laughs> I'm driving in the car. I look, and there's money everywhere. So I stop. I collect it. Where's the robbery? <laughs> Don't be silly. Don't be silly. We've got a simple deal. Either you go to jail for robbery, up to five years with our help, or not for robbery, but for attempted murder. That's seven to ten years. Now, how does all of that sound to you? <laughs> You're a beautiful woman. You don't want to get your ass kicked. But we have to. Because in prison, they slaughter snitches like pigs if you like that prospect. I'm afraid I don't, so if you want to make a case, make a case. And let's see what happens. I doubt Anything good will come out of it. Hmm. You can rest assured that we can do that. Oh, I'm so scared. He's gonna talk. Maybe not now, but he definitely will talk. And now what? And now we have to dig. And I happen to know where it's most comfortable. Digging, I mean. I suggest we go to a cafe. Kareelan, listen. Just because you drove me home yesterday, it doesn't mean that you and I are going to be best friends now. Yes. But... But get to work. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Are you looking for something? Uh, please tell me, does Nina work here? Yes, that's me. How can I help you? Uh, my name is Nadia Korochenko. Korochenko? You must be Captain Korochenko's wife. His sister. Mm hmm Ivan... died recently. My condolences, but is there something I can do for you? Well, I'm looking for a job. Okay. What kind of work would you like to do? I could be... I could be a sales clerk. Do you have any work experience? I used to work in a construction company as a sales manager. I see. So you don't have any experience. Why do you say that? It's not a construction site. I think you can see that. And you understand. Oh my god, what bad timing. Oh, but I owe it to your brother. He solved all the crimes we've had here and always gave us our jewelry back. So I really can't say no to you. Tell you what, come back tomorrow morning and we'll see what we can possibly arrange for you. When are we going to interrogate Gorobet? Tomorrow. The bastard thinks I've got nothing on him. But he doesn't know about the files and all the evidence I've gathered. We'll file. I found something. I have a friend.
What have you got there? Nothing much. Labanov is silent. Mm. Because I should have questioned him and done it the old-fashioned way? What are you going to do next? Marina said we have to dig. Marina? You call her Marina already? I've noticed that you have a soft spot for her. <sighs> but don't worry. You'll be perfect partners, just like in American movies. Nothing. Nothing. Tyson, what are we doing? We're looking for Ivan's file. No, not now, not now. Elijah, guess what happened today? What happened today? I have found... The file! The file, what file? I haven't had a very important file. He didn't tell you anything about it? Uh, no. Oh. So what did you find? I found a job. Oh. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Where at? At a jewelry store. Six months ago they were robbed and Ivan solved their crime. Do you remember that yes, case? Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, you got a job at the jewelry store. Yes, I did. I'm very happy for you. Mm, I am too, Elijah. I suggest we celebrate. How? Like we used to. Anything else for you? No, thank you. You look really sad tonight. No, I'm just fine. Hmm. Don't you think I know you a bit too well to believe that? Hmm? Are you happy? Ruslan and I made so many plans. And they all fell apart. Everything has changed and... I don't understand where I am or what will happen next. Have you thought about us? Yes, I have. I always thought that you were happy and that... You didn't even need me. But that's not true. You just weren't around. I was thinking about you. But you were still not around. <sighs> I'm sorry, but we're closing now. <sighs> Excuse me, but we're closing now. Anything else for you? Tyson.
sometimes I really regret that we've grown up. Why is that? Because things used to be simpler. I was an idealist, thinking that everything would work out the way I wanted. <laughs> ah, I wish that we'd always be together, that Ivan would be there for us, for you to love me and that it would always be summer. I know it's ridiculous, really. Believe me, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we suddenly became adults and everything seemed to change. The most precious thing I had was my girlish illusions. But now everything is completely different. Well, maybe it's time to turn the page. And just start over. I think we should go home. We should. Max, why are you fussing? I don't want any more. <sighs> All right, go put the plate in the sink and get yourself ready. We've got to go out. Good morning, Peter? Marina. <sighs> Here's the thing. Our chef makes simply genius cheesecake, and that's a fact. So I decided to treat you and Max, if that would please you. <laughs> well, thank you, but You're welcome. we've already had breakfast. Mm. Well, that's all right. You can save it for work. Hi, Maximus. How do you do? Why are you so early? No, I don't know. I thought I'd come and see you and take Maximus to school. No. I think that we should have warned him somehow. Marina. He's not a little boy anymore, is he? <laughs> he's a grown man. Hmm? But you're not going to keep him away from me all your life. That I won't have. Mm -hmm. You're right. Maximus. Come along. I'll wait for you downstairs. <laughs> Mom, I do not want to go with him. That's the way it is, sweetheart. It's okay. I love you. Be a good boy. It's okay. What do you want from me? I'm sorry, but I just couldn't get through. That's because I turned off my phone. Why did you leave? Don't you understand? I know I have my faults. But what kind of a man doesn't have them? I understand that's no excuse here. But I only love you. They are not faults, Ruslan. How long did you sleep with her? Two? Three months? How long? You realize that I won't be able to trust you again? I swear to you, I'll fix it. Go away, and please don't come back. I don't want to see you, don't you get it? I won't be going anywhere. Mm. Don't even think about it, doggy. It's us. Hmm. You could have shared with the dog. Sharing is really good for you. My sugar is low. And Mike, I need to eat well. And often, for sure. You don't have to give him anything. I can't get him used to it. Listen. If you find Ivan's folder, I'll buy you two hot dogs. Wait, what folder? Never mind. Mm. 
What? <laughs> what did you find in there? What's in there? Somebody put tape on it. Hey, what's your business? Shenanigans. I'll buy you three kilos of sausages. How you talk to customers determines whether they buy something or not. As you understand it, we're interested in having them buy and spend money. We take the gauntlet, Put it on, put the jewelry out, and show it off. Your job is to be positive, smiling, participative, and smile because the customers like it. <sighs> Nadia, don't worry, because everybody started out that way. Everybody had nerves. <sighs> the main thing is to smile. <sighs> Mom said you scored a goal in the last game. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Do you want to be a soccer player? I don't know. Uh, when I was about your age, I wanted to be... <laughs> exactly like Lev Yashin. That's cool. Hmm. And who is that? Legendary goalkeeper. Shall we kick the ball around sometime? I've still got one, and also a good field in mind. Maxim, look, I love your mother. Whether you like it or not, I want you to be happy. I'm happy the way things are. What? I said I'm happy, okay? I see. Stop, we're here. Here? Just stop right here, please. But the exit is further away. I'll just get out here. Okay, that's fine. Well, goodbye. Max! Police. Hi. Hi. What's up? Hi. Hey there. You here to see the boss? Yes, Ivan told me. About the evidence file, I mean, when we got Gorobets. Well, what kind of information? Ivan was working out the people who were, you know, connected with the robbery clients. Hmm. Well, and apparently it's our suspect. Yeah. Hello, welcome. Hello there, beautiful. Are you looking for something, sir? No, um, I was thinking I wanted to please my sweetheart. My sweetheart. Then I will suggest you take a look at this collection of earrings. They're pretty small, though. Uh, I want to please her very much, and they won't, uh, uh, I must please her a lot. We have a very beautiful gold bracelet. It was made by the fashionable Moroccan designer Ikram Bash. Notice how elegantly the links are made if you look closely, sir. This is handmade. You know, I was thinking I haven't seen you here before. How long have you been working here? My first day. Your first day? So you're new here. Don't worry, newbie, oh, sure. I won't bite. That one looks good. Except maybe a little bit if you want me to. Aram, hello. We're happy to see you. Why didn't you call me? I could have assisted you myself and gotten what you need. <sighs> oh, that is Nadia. She's new. She hasn't settled in yet. Please don't mind her. You wanted a bracelet, didn't you? Let me show you the best one. 
Well, okay, show me. Alex Pavlik, born 1979, formerly owned a transportation company, but listed as unemployed. An unpleasant face, but he... Ivan was working on the Gorobets case. Judging by the mark, Pavlik is a key figure. He doesn't look like a key figure. Okay, and where is Pavlik now? Uh, we have his registered address. Yeah? Then why are you still here? Leave it? No, no. Do you have your gun with you? Of course. He might put up a resistance. Let him try. Huh? Have you ever fired a gun? I have. Yeah. The shooting range. Oh, don't be afraid. He won't bite. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Hey, which apartment? Seven. Oh, okay. It's the third floor. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Second floor. Let's go. Shh. Yo, 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 yo. Hill. Tyson. Hill. Shh. Shh. Quiet. Shall we break it? I'll call the guys and they'll set it up. No, we need permission. Tyson. He smells something. Something is not right. Tyson! Hurry, let me Stop it! Be careful! Stop it! Tyson! Tyson, come to me. Stop. Come here, Tyson. Listen, license plate, Paul Andrew, 6773, Michael Sargent. Driver is armed and extremely dangerous. Why didn't we go after him? Where to? It's too late. I handed over an APB. Tyson, stop. Nadia. <laughs> Nadia. Oh. You're a beautiful girl, but you don't know anything about life. Well, he was hitting on me. He always hits on everyone. Lustful and kind of <sighs> gross, but harmless. Clients need an individual approach. You need to smile, respond to flirting, but keep your distance. We're not selling potatoes here. Just remember, you need an individual approach. He was hinting. A lot more. Nadia, now don't be silly. He just has money and he wants to be liked and adored for that money. That's no reason to like somebody. Do you want to work in the big city? <sighs> I do. Here you must learn to be beautiful and unavailable. Good girl.
restaurant. Have you lost your mind? Sorry, Pete. I didn't know where else to go. Anyone see you? Unfortunately, I was spotted back there, and there was a... Who, Marina? A young operative with her and some dog as well. Great. I don't know, black. A boxer or something. But they saw me, so we have to do something about them. I think they're onto us. Yeah, what's to be dealt with? Everybody's already seen you, you idiot. Here's the deal. Take the plates off, and then you get in the trunk, and don't make a sound. I put the kettle on and I... I think I fell asleep. It's all right. It happens. Want a brew? No, no, that's all right. But thank you. You all right? Ruslan was waiting for me outside this morning. What did he want? For me to get back with him. Okay. <sighs> Well, it's clear I still can't forgive him. <sighs> I'm so tired of it already. It seems clear to me that whatever I do, it's all wrong. That's not true. No. <sighs> I feel like the city and the people who live here, everything. It's alien. Well, not me. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yes. No, not you. I also went through the same thing. It passes. You think so? Yes, I do. So can I talk to him? To Ruslan? No, of course not. And besides, he's probably already gone anyways. Whatever. Well, better tell me, because I want to know, about how your day was today. <sighs> Remember I was looking for Ivan's file? Mm hmm I do. Well, it turns out that he was working on a gang that was robbing money collectors. And apparently he dug too deep. Is that why they killed him? Yes. Today we found the man most likely responsible for Ivan's death. What, so you caught him? Not yet. But I promise you, I will catch him for sure. Yeah. <sighs> Cut out Pavlov. Yes. <laughs> uh, hello, beautiful. What's the matter? Why so early? Why didn't Rymar call after what we discussed? What happened? Up early. Oh, good morning. 
I wanted to surprise you with a nice breakfast. Come on. <sighs> Pancakes are ready. It smells really good. Mmm. Wait till you try them. Please sit. <sighs> so, how did you sleep? Mm, not very well. Why not? I had some nightmares. <sighs> well, that's too bad. I guess I'm just exhausted lately. Huh. Listen, why don't you give up work? What do you mean? We have a lot to do in the restaurant. Without a doubt, I can find you an interesting position. Again, it's a lot of money. It's not like we're digging in shit. My father and grandfather served. I won't give up this job. I'm so sorry. I really didn't mean it. It's 8 o'clock. I'm already late. No. But eat. Please try some. Is it good? Very. Hey, boss, did you call? Sit down. They found a body on Ilyinskaya with two bullet wounds. Ilyinskaya? That's not our district. Not ours, but it's the same one that killed Ivan, as you know. Nine caliber in the heart and head? The management wants Marina to be in charge of this case. By the way, where is she? She's coming. Man, I should get uh, breakfast What time's morning. lunch? I'm exhausted. Tyson, why are you so sad, buddy? What's wrong? Hey there. Hi. I've got you covered. Let's go to Ilyinskaya. I'll fill you in on the way. Uh -huh. Tyson, need a special invitation? That's the spirit. <laughs> Tyson. Stand by. Wait a second. A girl found the body while jogging in the morning. She didn't see anyone near it. Any cameras? This area right down to the floodplain is a blind spot. And our killer, of course, knew about it. Looks like a professional job. Two shots were fired at point-blank range. The first shot was to the stomach. The second, a control shot to the head. We're identifying him now. We already have. That's our suspect. All right. Well, well, that was fast. So how do we find his bosses now? Pavluk was the only lead that we had to him. Tyson! Come here! Tyson! 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 Are you kidding me? We have to work, not go to restaurants. Don't worry, I'll make you dumplings at home. What is it? This is Pete's restaurant. Wait, who? Hmm. My, um, my friend. Oh, great. Good to know. Tyson, where are you going? Wait, hold on, boy! Oh! What are you doing, huh? Well, this is Pavlik's car. 
A mystery. I wonder how it got here. <gasps> huh? I think we should talk to your friend, get him to provide the video from the security footage. <laughs> and maybe Pavlik is on the tape. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Uh, our kitchen isn't open yet, and we can't have dogs in here. Yeah, it doesn't bite. Tyson. Yeah, we just want to talk to Peter. Is he here yet? Uh, yes, just a second, please. Right this way. What are you doing? Sit down. You're embarrassing me. Would you relax? Would you relax? Stay here. Have a seat, please. <sighs> well, okay. This is good. It's kind of beautiful. Yes, and delicious. I've never been to one like this. Marina? Peter. Hi. Hi, this is Lieutenant Kurelin. He's my trusted colleague. Have a seat, please. What can I do for you? I'm sorry we've been annoying you probably since early this morning. Oh, stop that. You know I'm always glad to see you. So what's up? We're investigating the robbery of a delivery truck. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what can I do for you? Well, the thing is, it turns out one of the suspects was found dead today. That's awful. And there's something else. Our sharp service dog brought us here right from the crime scene that day. To the restaurant? Yes. Oh, <laughs> sure, I see. Probably because dog smells. The tasty salmon tatar. It's our special of the day. <laughs> and we also found the dead man's car in the parking lot outside the restaurant. Oh my. It was Alex Pavlik's car. Does that name ring a bell? I understand you're surprised, and I feel like I might be overreacting dragging you into all of this, but we're all interested in the cameras here in the parking lot. Mm. Do they belong to the restaurant? Yes. And they're always on? Mm, I don't know. I can always ask security. We'd like to pull the records for maybe the last two days. Is that possible? Yeah, sure. Why not? I would have to request them from the system administrator, so that would take some time. How long? I'm sure by tonight. Thank you. It'll help us out a lot. My pleasure. How about some tatar? I wouldn't mind. No, um, another time. Anytime. Good to see you. Say hello to Max. <laughs> so then, you believe him? What? I'm not referring to your personal relationship. I'm just juxtaposing facts. Pavlik's car is parked outside his restaurant. That doesn't mean anything. The camera tapes will show whether he was involved or not. Unless he provides it himself, which I doubt. Listen, Karelin. Let me remind you that I am the chief investigator on this case. And your suspicions are completely unacceptable. I want a detailed report from Pavlik's murder scene tomorrow morning. Do you understand me? Do you want a lift? No, I don't. <laughs> Just thinking out loud. Come on. Jewelry shop. It's your first day and you've already sold so much. I can't believe it myself. I mean, wow, it's all happening just so fast. You know, in our business, it's always like this. You'll get stronger uh, and have your own technique. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure uh, in no time you'll find yourself a husband. <laughs> Nadia. Uh, who is that? No one. I need to talk to you. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm sorry about this. What are you doing here anyway? <sighs> Nadia, listen, I... We've already discussed everything you know. Nadia, I'm different now. Completely different, do you understand? <sighs> I found a job today. Listen, now I can give you everything Ruslan, you need. what makes you think I need anything from you? Hmm? You never understood. You betrayed me. Stop it, you're crazy. It's all in the past. Well, not for me. Don't you know that I love you? 
I love you more than life. I'm telling you, I can't sleep at night. Do you want me to get down on my knees? <sighs> oh. I beg you to give me a chance to show you. Uh, is everything all right? Yeah, it's fine, thank you. Uh, I can get home on my own. Are you sure you're safe yes, with him? Yes, I'm sure, but thanks so much. I'll see you see tomorrow. You tomorrow. Police. Tyson. Hey. What have you eaten? Yeah. Hold on. Here, have a sandwich. Come here. But am I kidding? I'm not gonna write that report now, right? No, no. Let's go home, old man. You morons. Are you sure you want to delete Cam 4? This object will be deleted immediately. Who are you? I live here. Excuse me, my apologies. Elijah, meet Ruslan. Yes, he came in for a second and was just leaving. This is Elijah. I know who he is. You were always telling your brother. What, so you live here now? Don't make enough money to rent? <sighs> Get out of here, you pauper. Want to say that again? Hey, hey, stop it! Hey, that's enough! Stop it right now! Both of you need to stop this nonsense! That's enough! Go! I'll see you later, fighter. Tyson. Tyson, let's go. Let's go. Well, Tyson, we just got kicked out. We'll sleep in the car now. Yo, boy. Hey, bro. It's booze. You want some? It's pretty good. Yeah, I see you need some. It's a 12-year-old scotch. Hmm. Ah, thank you. I won't offer it to you. I appreciate it. What's up with you? Jeff. <sighs> Nothing. <sighs> Lena kicked me out today, too. But I still somehow love her. Because without her, I'm nothing. How many times I shattered into atoms like nothing. And then out of nowhere, I mean, out of nowhere, my man. Yeah, no joke. I rose from the ashes like a phoenix. You have no idea. think life is pretty much like a roller coaster, bro. You 
go up, you go down. But then out of nowhere, it seems, it all goes, and you're back on top. This is only my opinion. But do not give up no matter what. So don't give up, man. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go make up with Lena. Should I leave it with no. you? No, thank you. I don't know what's happening in your life, kid, but, uh... Try not to get discouraged. Everything is only in your hands. I'm sorry. I lost my temper and I was wrong. I'm the one who's sorry. Do you want me to go away? No. I don't know why I let him in here. Ruslan asked me to come in and I'm... I'm really sorry that I dragged you into all of this. Thanks. It's okay. You know what? Sometimes I think we shouldn't have broken up. Everything was so clear, and everything was so simple, and maybe all this horror wouldn't have ever happened. I'm really glad you're here with me now, that I know. Nadia. I understand what's happening to you. You're being driven by your emotions. Well, I really thought... You don't love me anymore. Nadia. A week ago, I would give anything to have you back. And that's a fact. And now I'm, I'm really confused. I'm sorry. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Where have you been? Did something happen? 
Mm, she's breaking down right now. Zemarev? Uh-uh. Karelin! Where have you been? I've been calling you all morning. What happened? Oh, yeah, that's right. Your friend, Raimar, refused to provide the surveillance video. Can you leave us alone for a moment? <clears throat> if you keep sabotaging the investigation like you are, and not doing your duties, then... He won't give you the tape. Elijah! Do you know why? They'll show him talking to Pavlik. And then you have to admit, it's not the best arrangement. I need one day. What for? To clarify the situation. Isn't a video recording enough? That videotape doesn't prove anything. Well, even if they were talking, maybe... Maybe Rymar didn't like the way Pavlok parked, so he's afraid to admit it. Just listen. If he's guilty, he's going down. And the fact that we're together won't make any difference at all. Well, if he's not guilty and I put handcuffs on him... Clearly, he'll leave me. You want to be with him that badly? Just give me one day. Of course I am. Mm. I must admit, yeah, I you seriously confused me with your phone call. So. Mm. I just realized that I missed you. Mm. So did I. I only wish it could be like this every day. I really... <sighs> Sorry. Let's make this our new spot. Oh, it's Mom. Oh, this is serious. <laughs> yes, Mom. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm with Peter. Just a second. Peter, hmm? is it okay if I stay over at your place tonight? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come by tomorrow. Yeah, that's all right. Kisses, bye. <laughs> and so? She lets you go? She talks a little bit. Mm. But she did. Good for you. When are you going? To introduce me to her? She's no ordinary woman. I'm no ordinary man, but I do think she'll like me. I'm sure she will. So, darling, <sighs> little girls are doing this. <sighs> Peter, I'm sorry to mention work, mm -hmm. but did you manage to get the footage from the video cameras for me? What footage? Shit. We make I forgot. I'm sorry. I'll tell the guys to do it, huh? Our daughters are more of a gift than anything else in this life. Tyson. <sighs> Nadia? Where is Nadia? No. 
on, dear? Hey, what's wrong? What's wrong? Huh? Why are you crying? I can't take it anymore. Why? Why are you crying? Who did this? Wrestling? He was terribly drunk, and then he attacked me. Where is he now? Nadia, where is he? He went to the bar. Which one? The one downstairs. Tyson, guard her. Another round. You had no right to do that, you hear me? <laughs> Freaking idiot. I'm going to call the police. Relax. I am the police. She told you not to come again. What are you? Her grandmother? Or her mother? Do you even know life, cop? Nadia and I have been soul to soul for three years. Well, I've had a fling. What man can't have a fling? Now, of course she's angry. But she's not an iceberg. I'm sure she will thaw out. That is the heart of the city girl. You don't know her at all. Are you sure? Uh, don't lecture me here. Or I might punch you in the face again. You didn't even uh, buy me a drink, cop. You come at her again? I'll lock you up. Uh-huh. Well, screw you. Yeah. Okay. The day after tomorrow at noon. The crew's coming. The route has been changed several times, but I have my own man there. <sighs> They'll take Voska Bonakovsky and Petrovsky Boulevard for the circuit. Only this time do everything quietly. Not like last time. Be careful. Ah. The cops are already on alert. So tell the kid to kill the girl in the morning. Stand down.
You never should have messed with him. He won't let go. I know him. Oh, he will. You're my protector. You know, sometimes to get to know a person, you have to break up first. Same with me? What? So, do you really know me? I do. You're better than you look. Stronger and nobler. You're masculine, but you hide it behind the shell of an insecure boy. I didn't know that before. Thank you. Ivan would have been proud of you. Of you too. Really? I'm sure. And he would have, too. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. Hey there. Did you finally get your car fixed? As you can see. Congratulations. You were right, Elisha. About what? Let's go. I'll tell you about it on the road. Tyson? <laughs> He's a well-mannered dog. You hear that? Well-mannered dog. <laughs> Buckle up. I heard him discussing another robbery on the phone. When are they planning it? Tomorrow. Then we have to take him. What have we got on him? We have a videotape. At least we can detain him and interrogate him. Elijah, he's a rich man. He'll buy a judge, hire the best lawyer, and prove it was just a conversation with some visitor. We have no audio recording of the conversation which means there's no actual evidence that he was involved in the crime. So what? I think we have to take him actually on the spot. On the spot it is then. Let's go. Heel. Elijah. Yes? I have a big favor to ask you. Yeah? Please don't tell anyone about Rymar and I, okay? Of course. But it will come out sooner or later. <sighs> yeah, maybe. But I don't look forward to that day. Heel boy. Peter Reimar, born in 1977. Restaurant tour, no previous convictions. Do you think he ordered Ivan? Ivan almost walked out on him. Reimar felt it and he took him out. Is there proof of the accusation? We can't prove it yet, unfortunately. But what we do know is that he's planning another robbery. When's that? Tomorrow afternoon. We want to prevent the robbery and catch everyone in the act. You're doing a good job. You report all developments to me at once. You got it. Meet our suspect, Peter Reimar. He's our main suspect. And we believe that he is the mastermind behind the robberies. As well as... As well as the person who ordered the murder of Captain Korochenko. In order to bring him to justice, we need to apprehend his accomplices all at the same time. I can work with him in the interrogation. 
We have information that tomorrow at noon there will be a robbery of an armored car. The money will be taken through Vasco Boy Nico Vizcaya and Petrovsky Boulevard. But the situation is complicated based on the fact that the attackers will be using a quadcopter. Therefore, it will be impossible to drive in our usual way, and if they see us, they're going to try and stop the robbery. I suggest that we drive down in our civilian car. A woman driving is less suspicious. <laughs> I would argue. <laughs> I'll take Elijah and Tyson. And what are we supposed to do? You will be with the radio intercept. Track the location they'll use to control the quadcopter. Interfere with the car and catch the criminals. I was in the army as a communicator, so we have- And what if they decide to change the plan? Let's say there isn't going to be a quadcopter, but a radio controlled car, what then? What difference does it make? The main thing is to have a signal, and then we'll get them very easily. Hmm. So everything is clear? Perfect, thank you. Hi there. Oh, just in time. The stew is almost ready. Are you tired? Yes, a little. Here you go. Listen, El. Yeah? Remember you said you found the man who ordered Vanya's death? I remember. You said he was killed, well, because he got a bit too close to them. Yeah. I'm begging you, be careful. I couldn't stand to ever, ever lose you. But anyway, wash your hands. And you pause. Did you hear that? Hands. Let's go. It's very good. Listen, I saw you this morning with this girl. With whom? The brunette girl you were talking in the yard. That's Marina, a colleague. I told you about her. I figured as much. She's very pretty. I noticed something. You looked at her sort of... How? As if you liked her. I knew it. I can tell you like her. It all makes good sense now. I see. What does? That you fell in love, El. You know we haven't seen each other... for a long time. But there are things you can never hide from me. Such things like... You know what's interesting? What? What? Well, I think she likes you too. <laughs> Don't make it up. She's just a calling. Really? <sighs> We're from different planets. She's a big shot from the headquarters and I'm- And you're El Karelin. You're a good cop and the best guy I have ever met in my life. <sighs> Well, it's a shame. It's my fault. How come? For letting you get away. Nadia. I know, I know. It's my fault it isn't you. Really, you're off the hook. I keep thinking that my real life was far away. But the truth is, it's in this town. In this apartment, in this kitchen, next to you and Tyson. If only I could somehow rewind time, I would go along with you. And then everything would be different. Ivan would still be alive, and you and I would be together. Nadia, you... All I'm trying to tell you... Elijah, is to take your chances. If you like that girl, then don't miss it.
I don't know. No. Listen to me. We keep promising ourselves that we will be braver or wiser. We will fight for our happiness, but not now. Tomorrow. The day after, or perhaps in a month. But the real truth is, there's only now. So if you really care about her, then fight for her. Thank you. Where are they? stations, two kilometers. Go lower. I want to see who's riding in the back seat of the car. Okay. There's an outgoing signal. Oh, identify the location. Repeat, repeat. Come back, Alpha 43. Marina, we have guests. I think it's started. We are at 300 meters. We're all clear. Blow it up. Signal is strong. It's at two o'clock. Two hundred meters distance. Shut down the copter. What's going on? Stop. <sighs> well, there's no signal. None. There's a car to the right. Put your hands up!
Hello, are you... Marina? Yes. My name is Nadia, Elijah's friend. How is he? The operation was successful. The bullet went straight through Karelin. But he's still weak. Um, can I see him? The doctor's asked to not disturb him. Oh, all right, okay. I'll wait for him here then. Thank you. Elijah told me about you. He cares about you. Me? I'm sorry. I just want you to know that. Excuse me. I've got to go. Police. Okay, Valley Alulin. We already know that you work for Rymar. And I'm going to be honest with you. On the sum of all of the robberies and attempted murders, you're going to go to jail for life. But I'm willing to give you a chance not to rot in prison and get yourself out in 15 years. Uh, uh, what, what do you want from me? All we need is for you to turn in Rymar. I really don't know where he is. <laughs> well, he worked in the restaurant. He left at half past one. No one knows where he went. Well, I turned Rymar's house upside down. There's nothing. I asked the neighbors. I left the trail. Let's get him on the wanted list. We're on it. Sorry, Elijah. I didn't mean to wake you up. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. Uh, everyone's been coming to see you, but you just kept on sleeping more and more. Marina. She's been here all day. Is she all right? Yes, she's just fine. Let me help you. Careful. No. All right. It hurts bad. Uh huh. Are you with me? You good? <laughs> Nadia, let me tell you, I never thought I'd be in a gunfight. It's like a movie. Oh, poor thing. Elijah. I was very worried about you. I beg you, promise me it won't happen again. You promise? I promise you. Your colleagues all told me you saved Marina's life. Is that true? Did I do that? Hmm. Did you cover her with yourself? Hmm. It was the circumstances. It wasn't just the circumstances. What do you mean? Tyson hasn't left your side all day. He wouldn't let me take him outside. <sighs> Should I take him home? Hmm? It's okay. Let him stay. The doctors right. don't mind. All right. I'll come back tomorrow. Of hmm? course.
Remember what I said to you? That our lives are only here and now. Now call her. Kareelin. Come on. Mom, do you think I can still go for a walk with Tyson and Uncle Elijah? Uh, um, do you want to? Mm-hmm. Then, <laughs> of course. Of course you can, why not? Do you like Uncle Elijah? Yeah, I like him. He's really cool. Well, what makes him so cool? I don't know. But he's better than Uncle Peter. Let's go, sweetie. Are you tired? Come on in. Hey, wash your hands first. <sighs> Mom, I have a hole in my sock. Okay, take it off. I can sew it. While you're washing up, I'll go start dinner, okay? Marina! Marina! Mm. Listen, you won't believe it. I baked a great peach pie. Mm. It's so good, you must try it. It's delicious. Best I've ever had. Mm. What are you doing here? Oh, sorry. Hmm. No, oh, that's not good, Marina. It's not good for your home. Your varmints. They broke down my door. They turned everything upside down. You've been sneaking into my restaurant. Now you'll answer for it. What do you think? Chop, chop. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> do whatever you want with me. Uh. But please don't touch Max. I wouldn't hurt Max. What are you saying? We're friends. In fact, he's like a son to me. Kareelan. I had no father. <clears throat> Didn't uh, I tell you? Oh, here. 
My father. He went to prison in 1972. For robbery. He went to prison. He never got out. That's why... When I met you and Max, I immediately decided I wanted to be a real genuine father to this kid. A real good one. The kind I just never had for myself. It wasn't my destiny. Stop. What? No, stop. <laughs> hold no, still, no. hold still. Tell me, do you think you're missing in all of this, huh? Why did you get involved in all of this? Well, what have you been missing? What? A car, an apartment. Please, please, tell me. I have been doing everything for you and Max. I didn't ask you for anything. You didn't ask, you didn't ask. But you knew. But you knew, you knew that I would do anything for you and for the kid. I love you. Shh. Do you have your gun? No. You know that I always leave it at work. It's in the safe there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to look for Max. <laughs> this is a favorite game with him, Marina. What, what are you doing? I understand everything. You're a cop by blood. You're good at your job and all. But you have to understand, for right now, you can't act like one. Not here. Hmm? Where did he go? Think of Max. Consider it. He'll be better off with me. Right now, we can all leave here. Just the three of us. No, that's not gonna happen. Why not? Because you're a murderer and a criminal. And don't you pretend that you care about us. Because you only care about yourself. I have to go. A pity. I'll leave without you. A pity. I suppose I have been reported wanted. I wouldn't want to put that past you. Am I right? I need a guarantee. Insurance. Oh. Cuckoo. Don't touch him! Don't touch him! Don't no, touch him! don't touch my mother! Come on, hurry up, hurry up! Come on, get dressed, it's okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, run, run. Get your stuff. Let's go for a ride. All right? We'll borrow mom's car. You don't mind, mom. Do you mind if we... Oh, we need the keys. <laughs> hey, don't worry. He's okay. Uh, let's get dressed warmly. Max. I don't want you to catch a cold. Max, do whatever he tells you to do, okay? It'll be over soon, I promise you that. Oh, don't make empty promises. 
I'm so sorry it has to end this way. Remember, all of this is your fault. Don't forget that. <laughs> Come on, Max, let's go. Don't be afraid. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Don't do anything. Tyson, let's go, let's go. All right. Nadia, thank you for everything. Can you please walk the girl to the door? Okay, till tomorrow. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Tyson live through this? Of course he will, sweetie. He's gonna be okay. It's all my fault. I've been a bad host, a bad partner. This is all my fault. Tyson? Tyson here. <laughs> I haven't seen Max this happy in so long. He and Tyson are inseparable. When are you leaving? Do you want me to go? Of course. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just that, um... What? I've been doing some thinking. Really? What's that? That I've finally found the perfect partner. The one I can only dream of. 